Dear students, we already started our unit third, that is electrochemistry. Right? So, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the Collard's law. In the previous lecture, we discussed about the Collard's law. Means, how the Collard's law is helpful for us. So, uh, I already told you that Collard's law helps in the uh, calculation of molar conductivity at infinite direction for weak electrolyte. Right? So, now, what are the applications of Collard's law? What are the various applications of Collard's law. <clears throat> right? The first application is uh, calculation of degree of dissociation. Calculation of degree of dissociation. Calculation of degree of dissociation. Right? So, how we can calculate the degree of dissociation? The formula to calculate the degree of dissociation that is alpha, that is molar conductivity at given, molar conductance at given concentration C divided by molar conductance at infinite dilution. Right? So, this is the formula with the alpha which we can easily calculate the value of alpha. Right? So, how you can calculate? You know, I already told you the molar conductance at given concentration C, the molar conductance at given concentration C equal to K into 1000 by molarity. So, by using this formula, we can calculate the molar conductance at given concentration C, right? And you know that this molar conductance at infinite dilution can be easily calculated with the help of Collard's law, right? So when we uh, already know the value of molar conductance at given concentration C and molar conductance at infinite dilution, so when we divide these two values with the help of that, we can calculate the value of alpha, right? So now, calculation of dissociation constant. Calculation of dissociation constant. So how you can calculate the value of dissociation constant? That is Ka. So that Ka will be equal to C alpha sphere divided by 1 minus alpha. Here the Ka is your dissociation constant and the value of Ka equal to C alpha sphere divided by 1 minus alpha. Right? So you know that the 1 minus alpha is nearly equal to 1 because the degree of dissociation is negligible. So, Ka will equal to C alpha square or alpha equal to Ka divided by C under root. Right? So, if we have the value of concentration and Ka, we can easily calculate value of alpha and if we have value of concentration and alpha, we can easily calculate dissociation constant. I hope it is clear to all of you. The third one is calculation of solubility. Calculation of solubility. The molar conductance at given concentration C equal to molar conductance at infinite dilution. When the molar conductance at given concentration C equal to molar conductance at infinite dilution in that case 
द मोलैरिटी इक्वल टू सोलिबिलिटी मीन्स वेन द मोलर कंडक्टेंस एट गिवन कंसिडरेशन सी इक्वल टू मोलर कंडक्टेंस एट इन्फाइट डायल्यूशन इन दैट केस मोलैरिटी इक्वल टू सोलिबिलिटी मीन्स वी हैव द फॉर्मूला ऑफ मोलर कंडक्टेंस एट गिवन कंसिडरेशन सी इक्वल टू के इन टू मे थाउजेंड बाय मोलैरिटी सो वेन वी पुट मोलर कंडक्टेंस एट गिवन कंसिडरेशन सी इक्वल टू मोलर सॉरी यू नो दैट वेन द मोलर कंडक्टेंस एट गिवन कंसिडरेशन सी इक्वल टू मोलर कंडक्टेंस एट इन्फोनाइट डेल्यूशन इन दैट के इन टू मे थाउजेंड नाउ वी कैन इजली राइट मोलरिटी एज सोलिबिलिटी सो सोलिबिलिटी इक्वल टू के इन टू मे थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाय मोलर कंडक्टेंस एट गि एट इन्फोनाइट डेल्यूशन सो दिस द फॉर्मूला विथ दी हेल्प ऑफ विच वी कैन इजली कैलकुलेट द सोलिबिलिटी आई होप दीज थ्री एप्लीकेशन आर क्लियर टू यू so this is all about the collapse law this is all about the collapse law now we move to the galvanic cells galvanic cell or electrochemical cell galvanic cell is a electrochemical cell right so how this galvanic cell work i explain it to you so we take two beakers in the first beaker this is second beaker this beaker contain zinc sulfate solution This beaker contain copper sulfate solution, right? So this zinc uh, here in this zinc uh, zinc sulfate solution, we dip zinc around. Right, this is your zinc road. So here, the zinc road acts as anode. This is your copper road. Copper road acts as cathode. This is your cathode. Cathode having which charge? Positive charge. Because this is a power provider device. This is a power provider device. Right. Zinc road acts as anode, having negative charge. So both of these are connected via wire, right? So uh, a short trick is there to find out N O X red cat means anode of at anode oxidation is going to occur. At cathode reduction is going to occur. So this is a short trick to uh, learn these things. N O X red K. So at zinc oxidation is going to occur. So zinc road converted into Z N two plus ion plus two electrons are released. Means the weight of zinc road goes on decreasing. So the copper sulfate solution in the uh, when we talk about this beaker. This part, the copper sulfate solution dissociate into Cu two plus ion and sulfate ion, and this Cu two plus ion accept the electrons given by zinc. Means the electrons that are released by zinc goes to goes towards copper ion. So those electrons are accepted accepted by copper ion. So here the copper metal form. So 
द मीन्स द वेट ऑफ पप्पा रोड इंक्रीजेस विथ टाइम राइट सो इट मीन्स आफ्टर सर्टेन टाइम After a certain time, uh, the copper ions are converted into copper metal, but the sulfate ion remains in solution. So, when the sulfate ion uh, goes on increasing in this solution, ultimately a negative charge. When after some time, after start reflecting on cathode, after some time, so electron having negative charge, and negative charge also reflects here due to sulfate ion. so negative negative repel each other and the so uh, the cell stops working so mai maine kaha ki kuch time ke baad jo sulfate ion unka number increase ho jayega sulfate ion ka jab number badh jayega to is road pe kaun sa charge reflect karega negative charge uh, reflect karega aur ye negative charge hai aur jo electron idhar move kar rahe hain copper road ki taraf is pe bhi negative charge hai so both of these negative charges repel each other and the uh, electrons movement stop so cell stop working so aisa na ho theek hai to hum kya karte hain we place a salt base between these two electrode between these two beaker this salt base contain a inert electrolyte in them this is a salt base Containing inert electrolyte, inert electrolyte like KCl, KNO3, KCl, KNO3, right? Like that. I hope it is clear to all of you. So now, now uh, this uh, discuss some point firstly the weight of zinc rod decreases with time time ke sath zinc rod ka weight kya hota ja raha hai decreases it decreases second point the weight of copper rod increases with time copper metal jo hai wo copper rod par deposit hoti ja rahi hai the weight of copper rod increases with time third the electrons move from anode to cathode electron jo hai wo anode se cathode par move kar rahe hain और जिस डायरेक्शन में इलेक्ट्रॉन मूव करते हैं करंट हमेशा उससे अपोजिट डायरेक्शन में मूव करता है द करंट मूव फ्रॉम कैथोड टू एनो राइट सो नाउ व्हाट इज द रोल ऑफ सोल्ट ब्रिज हियर तो मैंने अभी आपको बताया कि जो सल्फेट आयन है उसकी वजह से जो सेल है वो वर्क करना बंद कर देती है तो वाय दिस सोल्ट बीज दिस सल्फेट आयन मूव टर्ड्स दिस साइड यहां पर भी क्या हो रहा था आपका जो जिंक आयन है वो सॉल्यूशन में रिलीज हो रहे थे तो वाय दिस सोल्ट बीज जो सल्फेट आयन है यानी कि सोल्ट ब्रिज ने इनर सर्किट को कंप्लीट किया सो वाय दिस सोल्ट ब्रिज दिस सल्फेट आयन मूव टर्ड्स जिंक सल्फेट सोल्यूशन so here the sulfate ion combines with zinc ion to form zinc sulfate so ek baat ab aapko yahan par bhi clear hogi copper sulfate dissociate ho raha hai jabki zinc sulfate form ho raha hai it means the concentration of zinc sulfate increases with time टाइम के साथ जिंक सल्फेट की कंसंट्रेशन इंक्रीज होगी एंड द कंसंट्रेशन ऑफ कॉपर सल्फेट डिक्रीजेस विद टाइम टाइम 
टाइम के साथ कॉपर सल्फेट की कंसेंट्रेशन डिक्रीज होगी राइट नाउ वट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ सोल्ट ब्रिज वट आर द फंक्शन ऑफ सोल्ट ब्रिज मतलब अब यहां पर सोल्ट ब्रिज क्या रोल प्ले करेगा द फर्स्ट वन इज इट मेंटेन्स द इलेक्ट्रिकल न्यूट्रलिटी ऑफ बोथ द सोल्यूशन दोनों सोल्यूशन को इलेक्ट्रिकली न्यूट्रल रखता है मैंने भी बताया कि वायर दिस सोल्ट ब्रिज सल्फेट आइन इस एंड पर मूव कर रहे हैं एंड द सेकेंड वन इज इफ वायर कंप्लीट द एक्सटर्नल सर्किट इफ थ्रू इफ इलेक्ट्रॉन मूव थ्रू वायर द आयंस मूव थ्रू सॉल्ट्रीज और यू कैन से द वायर कंप्लीट द एक्सटर्नल सर्किट and this uh, salt base completes the inner circuit right so i hope this galvanic cell is clear to all of you right so thank you beta thanks a lot if you have any doubt can ask me okay. so thank you students